To make this cup cozy, I'm working with two strands of worsted weight yarn. You could use a bulky yarn. And I'm using a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm going to start with a foundation chain. And I'm going to just work my foundation chain until I can wrap it around the bottom of the cup. Okay, I've worked a chain of 17 until I can pull it really tight and wrap it around the bottom of the cup. Now you're going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Now you're going to chain one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. All the way around. Okay, I made one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. There's my chain one. And the secret to have an invisible join is to work into the first single crochet, not the chain one. So slip stitch to join. Now chain one and turn. And when you start the next row to make sure you still have an invisible join, the chain one is not going to count as a stitch. So in this very first stitch, you'll make your first single crochet. So single crochet in that stitch and single crochet in each stitch all the way around. All the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. There's my last single crochet. There's the chain one, so we're going to ignore that. And we're going to slip stitch to join in the first single crochet. You can see that the join section barely shows. So now in the next row and in every second row until you have this completed and periodically you can slide this on and check to see if it fits and I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch because the chain one does not count as a stitch and I'm going to work all the way around and randomly and so stagger it each row don't make the increase in the same place I'm going to do it in this stitch you're going to make two stitch single crochet in that stitch and then just go on ahead and continue to single crochet in each stitch around when you get to the end ignore the chain one and slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet and you'll continue to do that until your cup cozy is as tall as you would like it to be I wrote 10 rows so if you just want to have a cup cozy like this that's fine you're finished but if you want to make the little dog cup cozy you're going to work with worsted weight yarn and some type of fun yarn. You could use a fluffy yarn like this or a homespun yarn. Combine your fun yarn with strands of any other color of yarn. And you're going to start with chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch all the way across the row. that at the end of the row chain one and turn single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row and you're going to repeat that for four rows and there's what it will look like you have one two three four rows and then you can fasten off like that and you can just sew these on with a darning needle or you could slip stitch them with the yarn ends and then you can sew on two buttons for eyes and I sewed a slightly larger button for the nose. And there you go, that's how easy it is to crochet a cute little dog cup cozy. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.